Hi guys, today you will learn how to draw with Teamwork Team Illustration. I will leave you a link to download with gifts so you can follow me from the start. Open new artboard. Make 1000 pixels in height and width. Go to File, select Place in the drop down menu and look for the sketch you will be working on. Click on Place and adjust your sketch size so it fits the artboard. Go to the Layers menu and lock your sketch out so it won't move in the process. Use Pen tool to trace the sketch. Select it from the left toolbar or hit letter P on your keyboard. Work with the outline only so it's easier to see the sketch. Select a bright color for it. Draw whole figure first and divide it after so the shape is as smooth as possible. Double click on the anchor point if you want to make it into corner. Don't worry about the bottom, we will fix it a bit later. Draw a line in the place you want to divide shape. Select shape and line and hit divide in pathfinder panel. If you can't see pathfinder panel, go to window and select pathfinder in a drop down menu. After dividing, shapes are in the group by default. To ungroup, go to object and click on ungroup or use shortcut. Hold command, shift for Mac or control, shift for windows and hit letter G. Select point the direct selection tool and convert it to smooth in the upper menu. Adjust handles to better match the sketch. Use Direct Selection tool to adjust the anchor point position. Convert this point to smooth and move handles to adjust the curve. Let's add colors. I have my colors in the swatches panel. We'll leave a link so you can download it. Use shortcut or hand shapes, hold command on Mac or control on Windows and hit left or right bracket to send shape back or bring it forward. Hold shift key to select both shapes. In the left toolbar select shape builder tool and click on part that is outside of the main shape to separate it. Select it with direct selection tool and hit delete to remove it. I think the shape is a bit too thick and drags too much attention. Use direct selection tool to select points on the top and drag it down to make the shape a bit thinner. Hold all key while dragging to create a copy. You shape the tool to remove this part. Let's work on this guy. As before, trace whole figure first and divide it after. Follow my steps.
Change it to stroke again as we still need to draw glasses and hair. Use a lips tool for glasses. Fold all the unchipped piece while dragging to create a perfect circle. That's it, we can come back to adding fill colors. This part was divided as the lines is crossed. Let's select both shapes and merge it into one again. Keep tracing the sketch with the pen tool. Use eyedropper tool to replicate the color. Select it from the left toolbar or hit letter I on your keyboard. Let's move onto the girl on the top. Use the same technique as before. Hit plus key on your keyboard or select tool from the left toolbar and add extra anchor point to the stroke. Draw lines that will be used to divide shape. Divide shapes by hitting Divide and Pathfinder panel. Select Smooth tool in the left toolbar and with the stroke selected gently draw over to smooth it out. If you can't see Smooth tool, look for it under the Pencil tool. Don't forget you need to ungroup shapes after dividing. Add fill colors. Remember to remove stroke. Select multiple shapes while holding shift key and arrange it by hitting left or right bracket depending on where the shape needs to be. Or click right mouse button and go to arrange in a drop down menu. Pick a pen tool and trace the shape behind. Use smooth tool to create a nicer curves. Apply fill color and send shape back. Select all shapes and use shape builder tool to remove parts at the bottom. This part is a bit too short, let's drag the center point down. Repeat the steps to remove this part at the bottom. Bring your sketch to the top and lower the transparency. It's time to work on the smaller details. Let's create a file case in the guy's hand. Use pen tool to create shapes and a lips tool to create a pie diagram on the one of the documents.
Don't forget to hold all key while dragging to create copy. Group shapes. Use shortcut, hold command on Mac or control key on Windows and hit letter G on your keyboard. Divide the shape and arrange it so the body is behind and the arm is on top of the file case. The rounded rectangle tool to create the shape of the phone. Corner radius should be not more than 5 pixels. Select both shapes while holding Shift key and with the biggest shape selected as a key object, align it to the horizontal center. Hold all key to resize shape from center. Follow my steps for the rest. One last object left, use shape tools to create it. Draw a rectangle on the top of the rounded rectangle shape. Select both shapes and hit minus front in Pathfinder panel. Hold all key while dragging to create a copy. To keep the same distance, make the rest of the copies by using shortcut. Hold command on Mac or control for Windows and hit letter D on your keyboard. Use polygon tool to create a triangle, put 3-4 sides, resize it and rotate while holding shift key.
use pen tool to create the signature. Make stroke thinner. 0 0.5 points is perfect. That's it guys, time to export your artwork. Go to File, Export, Mark Use Artboards and choose PNG for the format. Click OK. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two.